Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the Foo Fighters, uh, rock and Foo roll Fighters. band. Yep, Dave Grohl, frontman. He used to play drums for Nirvana. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. Let's talk about the Fun Fighters. All right. Yeah. Oh, Fun Fighters. Fun Fighters. Yeah, not the Here Foo I Fighters. thought that we were going to talk about something that I actually know about. No, no, you know a lot about these. They're small and they fly. Well, more than what you know, anyway. And they're but fun. You can take the wheel. You sure? Yeah. Oh, well, these are fast little guys, aren't they? They are really fast. Now, now you guys out there that are looking at these thinking, oh, this would be great in my little backyard, you know. No, they're not going to be great in your little backyard. They're fast. And tell them why they're fast. Because these guys have been upgraded with some serious mamma jamma that probably shouldn't even be inside here. Hobby King got their hands on these. These are not manufactured by Hobby King, but what they did is they actually took them and made them better. And they did a couple key things to make them better. They actually changed this whole top hatch here to make it more scale and uh, more scale That's pilot. In there. Looks a lot better. Yeah. And also they manufactured a battery. They made a four cell they, specifically for yes, the Fun Fighter. Specifically for this. And boy does it fly great. Yeah. It flies really nice. And also along with that, these planes were never meant to fly off of a four cell. So they went ahead and put a four cell speed control in them. And uh, that gives it all around ready to go. Upgrades all up in here. Upgrades, you're, you're good to go. And I'm guessing these things push almost 100 miles an hour. Holy cow. Yeah, that's why I don't want to fly in your backyard. All right, well, we have two different planes. We have the A1 sauce. A1 sauce. And we have Also this... known as the uh, Sky Raider. Okay, and we have the C3PO. C3PO or the Sea Fury. Sea Fury. Yes. Right. Yes. Got those. Now let's go ahead and pop off the hatch on this guy here. Okay. One nice thing is I will not be losing this hatch unless I blow the plane into pieces because to get the hatch off, you got to slide it forward, lift up the back, and pull it off. No magnets. It just all works off of friction know, fitting. Friction and fitting. Stuff. Yep. It goes under the canopy and back in. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And check out, speaking of this, check out the right thrust in this bad boy. Isn't that crazy? It's crooked. Yeah, it's crooked. That's because there's so much thrust coming out of here. Now you probably noticed something here about our prop. It doesn't look like this one. It doesn't look like that. Guess why? Because you broke it? Because we broke it. Whoops. Yes. Daisy. Yeah. Now, but you know what? It does raise a very good point with the prop. So we did break it. We don't know how this is a, uh, a 475 by 55 prop APC style. Mm -hmm. um, we had to do an immense amount of balancing both on this guy and on this guy. So balance your props on these before you take them up into the air or you're gonna have a lot of vibration. It's just not gonna fly well. Rob it lots of power. Just all around bad things are gonna happen. Yeah, Spinner but... and prop. So why is it crooked though? Why is it crooked? Yeah. Well there's so much power from this engine. If it was go ahead and st it was straight, uh -huh. the torque of the engine would just overpower it. Okay. So it has to be uh, tilted to the right to, to counteract the torque. Compromise. Yes. Now, with this spinning so fast and everything, you gotta balance your props, but also balance your spinners. If you see that little piece of black Gorilla Tape on there, that was to counteract the uh, vibration from the spinner, not the prop. The prop was balanced, but we had to put that on. So balance your props, balance your spinners, make sure it runs up nice and smooth. And if you uh, are wondering how to balance props and spinners with tape, uh, watch the Tricopter episode. There's a manual with them. Oh, good. Yeah, so it gives you all the specs that you need to know, balance points, throws, all that good stuff. Read the manual, put them together. And uh, last thing, have fun with them. All right, well, let's do that right now. You wanna do because it? This, yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be really fast. So let's go check it out. Let's do it. All right. All right, they sent me to get the radar gun uh, to see how fast these guys go, because they're gonna cook, apparently. And I think I actually have been required to hold the radar gun, uh, which is a little bit scary. It doesn't seem very safe, but whatever. It's a flight test. That's, that's Hi, David. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hi. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. it's a little windy today, but yeah. when is yeah, not windy? Quite now? windy. We should use the Hobby King anemometer for it. No, oh, dude, totally. Did you get a Hobby King anemometer? Uh, I have several. You? you have several? Yeah. What do you have there? Radar gun. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Now, there's one thing we didn't tell you guys about inside here is uh, not only are these batteries four cell, but they have an incredibly high charge rate. They are nanotech and they have a 10C charge rate. So, theoretically, you could charge it at what, 80 amp? Yeah, eight and a half amp, and it should be fully charged after about six to ten minutes. So you could fly indefinitely if you had two batteries, and, and you didn't mind killing them a little bit early. You could charge while you're flying and just keep swapping them out all day long. That's right. Yeah. Wow. And now these things are drawing what? Twenty. That draws twenty seven. Here, let's get in the air. I'm gonna launch you. Twenty one. You can talk while so, you're in the air. So oh, fly. Okay. He's gonna launch me. That was rude. Oh wow. Oh, that's 
twice. Well, did you stop him? Wow. Somebody tell me where to stand. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling the wind. That's good, Josh. I think they're getting it trimmed. But they have supplies for them, right? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Mine's all over I'm just gonna fine. fly it. I'm confused. I'm gonna land mine right now. Okay. This is quite chaotic, sorry, but yeah, okay. So, wow. I just feel chaos. like we need some structure a little bit. <laughs> All right. That was just chaos. That was yeah. chaos. And I think that's a good way to describe what you experience with these things. They are extremely obnoxiously fast. They are. So, so and really touchy until you get them trimmed out. Yeah, dialing them in is really, really important. And speaking of dialing in, um, I just uh, landed mine. We've moved the battery. I took it up again. And to show you on the Sea Fury where the battery is, I have it all the way in the front right there. All right, it was really wobbly in the air yeah. when it was further back. So that was just tail heavy. So for you guys out there, get this battery. It's amazing. But then put it all the way forward yeah, uh, to make it track idea. properly. Um, yeah, I had a little accident when coming in land to land. It's so fast that you have to glide it in, and I didn't have the brake set up, so it it's it just cartwheeled. Yeah, EPO construction. Yeah. So yeah, they're definitely strong. Um, I thought thought that these things were going to fly apart, but no, they turn on a dime and they're very very touchy. Not a beginner plane. No, definitely, definitely not a beginner not. plane. But boy, are they going to be cool. And I had a model field with a couple guys at these things. Oh, it'd be fine. Yeah, You're so really I'm gonna go fix my prop. Okay, see you guys. And I'm gonna right. go ahead and try to see if yeah, let's get a clock speed, us. speed check. Yeah, all right. Now this is going into the wind. Seventy-four. Wow. wow. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. This thing actually scares me a little bit. Yeah, bring it, bring it. 82. <laughs> so what's your thoughts on it? I like it a lot. Uh, it's it's a great flying airplane. Uh, I know it's hard to say that with a serious face since we, you know, we're trying to do passes in this wind, but it's easy to handle, it's bank and yank. Although it's kind of buffing around, and wiggling its tail all over the place, it actually does track really nice. I think it's actually just the wind and, and everything kind of messing around with it. Uh, Slow characteristics when, when you go ahead and land it are amazing. Oh, that's the end of the battery. <laughs> that was the end of the battery. <laughs> All right. We got more. We got more batteries. I don't think it broke the prop either, so we're good. So um, overall? Overall, uh, amazing. Honestly, uh, it scared me, and it makes me want to fly it even more now, if that makes sense. It's just flying on a calm day, definitely with people that you don't mind hitting around you and uh, wear some helmets and padded gear when yeah, you fly. Sure. Um, when you guys see this, it's very reasonably priced. Definitely, if you're gonna invest some money into this, buy the bigger battery and uh, put it in there. Uh, that four cell is amazing. You can throttle back and cruise around, uh, but wow, what, what an amazing plane. It was cooking. Yeah, now I did fly the A1 too, and the A1 tracked beautiful, uh, flew beautiful, no bad characteristics whatsoever. It's just this uh, this one we're dealing with that makes them yeah. kind of bobbly. Challenging. A little bit challenging. Little These things weigh under a pound. So you figure flying that fast with an airplane under a pound is, it's head. is it's quite exceptional. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. And make sure you keep talking up on the forums, flighttest.com, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All see right, you next time. Put a new battery in it? Absolutely. All right. See ya. This is a DH100 de Havilland Vampire. Is that that right? is a mouthful. I think you got it. I think I got it. I think you nailed it. And it's it. also a pre-release from Hobby King. Yeah, you guys ain't seen this one yet. It's Hobby King's brand. It's an EDF. It's an EDF. Which stands for... Uh, electric electric Ducted Fans. fans.